Rainy conditions for your Wednesday morning. We are riding along with our chaser Mark Fulta. He is in Jinx. You can see Main Street Jinx right here. Windshield wipers getting a good workout. How much rain has fallen so far in the last 24 hours? Jinx Riverside picked up about nine tenths of an inch of rain. But look at Tulsa over an inch of rain. Have to go back to last October. Last time we had over an inch of rain in Tulsa, inch and a half in Bixby and about an inch in the Inola area. You head farther to the north, but we really missed out. Bartlesville only about two one hundredths, nothing in the rain gauge in Coffeyville. Salisaw picked up about 1.3 inches of rain. So here's a look at radar. Again, beginning to wind down just a little bit. We're still going to have a few more scattered showers through about 7 and 8 in the metro, but the uh, heavier activity is down to our south across areas of LaFleur County, Haskell and Latimer counties. A few thunder boomers down there, nothing too severe as it is racing its way off to the east. Here's a look at our view across the metro, just some light rain showers. And again, you head north, the rain is over with up towards Pahuska and Bartlesville. So here's a look at the timeline for the metro. Again, a few light showers through about 9, maybe 10 o'clock, and then a break. And then we don't see the rain move back in until about 10 o'clock tonight. So area wide, again, a few showers this morning. Looking uh, dry for us at lunchtime into the afternoon hours, a lot of clouds around. Our temperatures right now in the 40s and 50s, so you will need that jacket. This afternoon, temperatures should warm into the mid-60s. That's still below normal, which is about 71. 7 o'clock tonight, here comes the next round of rain. <laughs> It'll be pushing in. So we've all of a sudden transitioned into a pretty active weather pattern, but thank goodness, nothing in the way of severe weather out there. And then heading into Thursday morning, a break. Temperatures tomorrow morning are going to be in the low 40s. But guess what? There's more rain on the way heading into tomorrow night and also heading into our Friday. So our umbrellas are going to be getting a pretty good workout. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon, lower to upper 60s. Friday morning, bus stop, heading off to work. Soggy conditions. Looks like this rain does push out heading into our Friday afternoon. So the timing really can't beat it for the weekend as the temperature is heading into a Saturday. A little bit cool, but we're not talking about rain chances. Not much sunshine the way it looks for Saturday. Still pretty cool for Sunday. 60 will be that high. So again, if you've got soccer games, if you've got golf plans, if you've got tennis plans, you should be okay. Hiking plans, heading outside. Next week, we do see a little bit more of a warm up. 69 with, yeah, some sunshine. Finally, a little bit more sunshine beginning of next week. And then a cold front will be dropping those temperatures heading into Tuesday. A few showers possible, 54. And if we were to extend this out to next Wednesday, Wednesday morning, we are going to be under the gun for a little bit of scattered frost. Again, that's day eight. So 